who has been serving in our community for about five decades, 50 years. <laughs> Along with his wife, Ashala Tamataji, who is also here. You'll probably see both of them serving at the altar, doing aarti for our deities, serving the deities, doing Abhishek. And Prabhu also gives classes, not just in the Toronto temple, but many other temples across the GTA. Today he's going to be speaking on the appearance of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So please join me in welcoming Shivalas Das Prabhu by giving a big round of applause. As Prabhu makes his way, we would like to take a quick moment to thank the Pujaris for putting up such a beautiful decor for our deities. Aren't they beautiful? Thanks to the Pujari team, you can see beautiful darshan, but a lot of work happens behind the altar in setting up such a beautiful decor, flower decor and dainty outfit. So once again, our heartfelt thanks to all the Pujaris putting up such a spectacular darshan for today. We'll now pass it over to our speaker for today, His Grace Shubhalas Prabhuki Jai.
गुरु श्री प्रभु पाद बट अगर ही टॉट भी और पाठ सब नॉलेज तो ही हो बट टुडे लेक्चर इट वॉज बी वेरी शॉर्ट सो सो इंस्टेड ऑफ वन आवर आई वुड हैव ओनली ट्वेंटी मिनट्स और सो सो बट यू नो इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट स्टिल टू बी गेट यूज ऑफ दैट एंड इट इज इन फाइव हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी एट अपेरेंस डे ऑफ चैतन्य महाप्रभ All of you are so fortunate to come to the appearance celebration of 538 years of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appearing in this universe, this part of the universe. So, so this is the best day to get the unlimited mercy. It is predicted in so many places that the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. will appear in shrimad bhagavatam in the 11th canto chapter 5 verse 30 second and in chatanam charta vita that krishna himself but in this age will come in not in a bluish color will come in a golden color so chatanya mahaprabhu in mayapur as a son of mother sachi and jagannath mishra appeared so there is so many so many past times he had the because his appearance happened because of the advaita acharya who see what is happening in the kali yuga people are living like a hell planet they are no You need to do. They don't know what to do and how they can go back to God. So with the, his prayers, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared, and Krishna was so merciful that he appeared. And the purpose of appearance of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is two ways. The primary purpose is was to that. Chaitanya, Krishna wanted to relish why Radha Rani serving him is so happy and so blissful. He wanted to enjoy it and see why Radha Rani is so blissful. And the second was to take most of these people, most of us, back to Krishna Loka with a simple way. Even Krishna. is very very merciful but he made the condition that you have to surrender everything to go back to god like the bhagavad gita in the conclusion part he says sarva dharma pateja that give up all varieties of religion and surrender that to him but nobody had to surrender so chaitanya mahaprabhu came he made it very very simple and that is reason we call him the most wonderful as well as merciful in our nation so he could ask in anything he just in chant the name of krishna hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare so He had so many dealers, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. When he was even young, at the age of ten, he was the biggest Brahman and knowledge of Shastra. Of course, he started succumbing, knowing all that, and also at one time there was a devotee come to the house of Jagannath Mishra. And that devotee had a vow that he would cook himself a brahman, and then he would offer, and that is the only way he eats it. So that brahman cooked a very nice feast, and he started off it. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, little boy, he comes and eats it, 
And he gets very mad. He says, I'm offering it and you're eating it. And the Tanya Mahaprabhu is thinking, you're offering to me and I'm eating it and now you're complaining all over. And then, Jagannath Mishra felt very bad. He requested to Brahman, let's cook it once more. So the second time and the third time they locked Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in the room. You know, in Canada, you can open the door from outside, inside too. But in India, when you put a door and lock, you can't get out. So, then the Brahman offers it again, but Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gets out and eats it again, and he gets very upset. But at night, that Brahman gets a dream. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, in the mode of Krishna, he appears to Brahman. That on one side you keep offering it to me, on the other side you want me to eat. So the Brahman realizes that the Krishna himself. So even at a ten year old when he was there, there was a Kashmiri Pandit. He used to go, he had money to defeat all the Brahmas. He was big uh, knowledge of all the Shastras. So when he went to Dravdi Mayapur, they were looking for who will go and fight with the Kashmiri Pandit. And then they picked up Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, 10 years old. And he defeated the Kashmiri Brahman. And Kashmiri Brahman go down to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu started the Sankirtan movement to go all around Navdi Mayapur to start that everybody goes, get it together and chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare. And they used to play Madangas and everything. And Muslim were not happy seeing that everybody in Maya he is just chanting and chanting and chanting. And so they complained to Pazi, who was the magistrate of there. The magistrate got all upset. So he goes there and breaks the mardanga of the chanting party. So after the breaking of Mardanga, Lord Chaitanya got very upset. A bigger party went out. And at night, the Kazi got a dream that he saw. He tell Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, while he's speaking to him, to tell him that chanting is the only way. And he said, last night, I had a dream. There was a man, but his head was a lion. So Vishnu appeared to him, and he showed that his marking on his body. And at that time, Kazi said that you can chant the name everywhere. So the chanting was going on all over there. And there's so many stories, so many pastimes there. But one very short one that in the Krishna Leela, when all the Gopi Gwalas, there was a Kusma Seva Sakha a friend of Krishna. And he became, you know when Krishna comes, even Chaitanya came, he came with all his enthroid, everybody came with him. So Shridhar Maharaj or Das came in his Leela. And but he was, people are calling him Kholabacha, Shrithar. Kola Vacha is a, a banana leaf. Vacha in Bengali is who sell the banana leaf. So this Shrithar will sell the banana leaf to make his living. He lived near the Kaji's house and he had no roof. But he was satisfied. He was so humble. He was showing so much affection. This is what we have to learn that we can, from the heart, 
we surrender. He was so surrendered to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that every day when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was going to take a bath in Ganga, he'd stop at Sh with Shridhar. And he liked to play with Shridhar. And he wanted to buy the banana leaves, banana fruit from Shridhar. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu for hours and hours argued with him. No, you are charging too much. And Shridhar was so honest, he was charging so little. But no. And sometimes Chaitanya Mahaprabhu take this stuff without paying it and eat it. And they will argue it and then he leave. But he blessed Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu blessed Shridhar that all the time you will be with me. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told his disciple to write so many books. So they wrote Jiva Goswami, Sriyata Goswami, all the disciples wrote so many books. That you can see Chaitanya Chaturita, if you can see there's so many Lila there. This is just a drop in the bucket we are talking today. And The Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also did not write any too many books, but his disciple wrote so many books. As you know, so many books are written by the disciple. So, but Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wrote very simply eight shlokas. So, we'll go through those shlokas. But we don't go to in a detail but we go to the meaning of that. The first thing, out of eight, number one, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wrote, Ganori to Sri Krishna, Saipitta. So what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is telling us, chant Hare Krishna. The glories are to Saipitta. And number two, he says, only holy name of Krishna, can render all the benefits. You know when, when you go somewhere, somebody tells you only one thing. So there are no other things. So only the holy name of Krishna can render all the benefits. So that's very, very important that we chant the name of Krishna. And then text number three out of eight. Chant holy name of Krishna and humbly and meekly. You can't do it proudly. That, oh, I can't get 60 rounds, I'm the biggest. They are my beads are this way. You have to be very, very humble. Like that was the reason we discussed Shrita. You know how humble he was? No roof. And Shrita, you, you can't all night. And all the neighbors are thinking, because he is very poor, he has no roof. He can't all, all night, he can't sleep. That was not the reason. He was chanting the name of Krishna very, very humbly because he was a very great devotee of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So we have to learn that, that text 3, that we chant, but chant with very humbly. And number 5 is that the tears of love come from chanting. We discussed at the last part of my day that just how you could see Srila Prabhupada's. I've seen him in 1975, this pastime of him in Atlanta when he gave a lecture on Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Parents Day. Then you'll see that what we had to do. So we had to be so surrendered then and we should feel so upset when we are separated from Krishna. Even you are at home, anyway, just think of Krishna. Then you are not separated. Think of, in, in the old days, we see, like, you know, we see a flower. You can think of two ways. Think of flower, don't take it away, but so if I get the flower, I take it to the temple, or I can offer to the Krishna deity. So that's the difference. And instead of thinking of my take it to my mother, there. So, then seven. Yeah. 
simply loving Krishna as a gopis. That's very, very important. Just do it. The gopis were not looking for anything else. They had a love for Krishna without any benefit. Here we come, Krishna. Here my twenty dollar. Can I go back home? Can I have a bigger car? <laughs> yes. It is in love and devotion without any purpose. And then the last that chanting number that you get all the mercy just by chanting. So what else we want? We are so fortunate to have that uh, instructions from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had so many disciples who are some Muslims also. And there was one disciple he has, Satya Raj Khan. And uh, he was always talking Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, one question after question. So one question he asked Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is a Vaishnava? Who is a devotee? Look at the mercy, what we are talking about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said that anyone who chants the name once or hears the name once of Krishna, he is a devotee. So you are so fortunate to know all this. So, but we should not stop with one. That's why, oh, I hear once Krishna. But, you know, let's chant more and more. So real benefit can come to us. And then in conclusion, that what Prabhupada said. He made the whole thing very simplified into the seven or eight point. Prabhupada said, we worship Krishna only. We think of Krishna. We work for Krishna, we glorify Krishna, we chant for Krishna, we dedicate our life for Krishna. This is our philosophy. For us, Krishna, Krishna, Krishna and Srila Prabhupada, nothing else. Just by doing that, you can go back to God. You don't need anything else. Just chant the name of Krishna, have prasadam, follow the regulated principles and come to the temple as much as you can and always think of Krishna, relate everything to Krishna. You go in a car, where the steel came from, where the tire came from, you made them, I made them, no, came from Krishna. Same thing, who oh, is done with the petrol, or gas, gas where it comes from, from the earth of Krishna. So relate everything to Krishna. And just by doing, rating everything to Krishna, your life will become successful. The, as I promised, 28th of February 1975 in Atlanta, in USA, Srila Prabhupada gave a lecture on appearance of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as we are doing today. Prabhupada said, two lords, Nityananda and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they have appeared just to reclaim the fallen souls like us. They are more kinder than Krishna. Krishna, he is very kind. He comes to deliver, but Krishna demands that first you surrender. He is so kind. And just while Prabhupada is saying that, his wife started choking and he started sweating. And Srila Prabhupada went there in a trance. He couldn't speak anymore. And after a couple of minutes, when Prabhupada came back while he was chanting, see, all the devotees had seen it. Same thing happened in Toronto in 1976. We were chanting the Radha Madhav and he stopped in the middle. So we'll do that some other day when I get more time. And Prabhupada said in the last section, so take shelter of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and happy. Thank you very much. And that time you will see Prabhupada weeping and weeping and weeping. 
so we are here because of the mercy and the hardship of Shira Prabhupada by Guru Maharaj. So we should thank Shira Prabhupada for his mercy to tell us who Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is, that how we can go back, go back to God. So to do that, while we are here on the appearance, day of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, 538, first we go two parts, take only two minutes, you put your hand up and when I say, Jai Shira Prabhupada, you should say it so loud that when we sing birthday, we say happy birthday to you and all this. So let's say appearance day. So when I say Goranga, you say Gorani. Goranga! 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 Mahaprabhu. Then now you are obligated to Shira Prabhupada who brought out all this mercy. So this time, Say, when I say Shira Prabhupada, you say Jai. It should be so loud that everyone should hear. Shira Prabhupada ki. Jai. Shira Prabhupada ki. Jai. Last time, very loud. Shira Prabhupada ki. Jai. Thank you. Happy Lord Purman to all of you. Again, thank you so much, Shubhadas Prabhu. Can we give another big round of applause for Before we continue with the program, the one who's sitting at the back, that is behind the Vyasasan, this area is for the kids. They'll be reciting bhajan shortly for the Abhishek. So we request others to please find elsewhere to be seated. You want all the kids to move on that side?